Okay guys, as you can see, I'm filming from my kitchen today and the reason is I needed a countertop that's kind of flat and the reason for that is I bought this beautiful, beautiful hat last summer and when I bought it, I did question whether it was going to be floppy and I was told it's not going to be floppy. I wanted to find out the hat is so so floppy and I'm not happy about that I really don't like when something is floppy and all over me this is how floppy the hat is guys when I got it it was really really straight and beautiful and then all of a sudden everything is just so floppy I really don't like floppy hat maybe it's stylish for some people but for me it's not really when I'm hot I really don't want anything floppy all over me I want something that is lifted up and is airy so yeah somewhere somewhere here on YouTube I've, I found out that you can use mud podge to really stiffen a hat and for something this um, floppy I don't know if it's gonna work so I went out I got some mud podge and I got a brush so we're gonna try to see if we can paint this and see put this all over and see if it will dry and if it does if it does dry and if it will stay stiff long once it is done so I want to try this with you guys okay let's go okay so one thing I've learned about um, these hats guys is that they are very very stylish top of the line stylish but the only problem is they don't stay stiff I think they're more stylish if they stick right out like this even if it has a tilt at the front like that just a little like that much I could tolerate but the whole thing like all over you like that it's too much it's too much definitely too much for me so we're gonna see if we can get this to be stiff all around okay I'm hoping it works it's such a beautiful hat when it's all stiff and beautiful very pretty once it's floppy very unattractive so this is the much podge mod podge <laughs> and we're gonna open this and we're gonna begin hopefully this works okay okay so okay guys so we're gonna begin the process let me lower this camera a little bit there we go so i'm really hoping this thing is gonna work out so beautifully i'm gonna go around the top Maybe the base first, I don't know. Alright, so I'm just gonna go in. And it comes out white. I'm hoping it will dry clear and um, we have no kind of excitement here. So sure whether we should put thin layers or really in dense or really thick layers but we're trying something I'm gonna go over a second time to make sure that 
if it does not become stiff then it, it won't be like I did not put enough and yeah I want this to be so stylish when it's dried guys it gets to stick right out I'm just gonna be so stylish <laughs> and this much podge is the gloss luster so um, hopefully it comes out shiny and nice and we are pulling along I guess you'd have to take out every kind of indentation also it's going to dry with those indentations so I'm making sure I take out all indentations all indentation from the hat in the sun and hopefully once it's dried then this thing will stick right up firm and beautiful and one thing I can tell you about these hats though guys in the summer one of the best thing to protect your skin once you're under these hats this hat in particular you don't get a, a, a sunburn or anything on your face and your shoulder and um, it's one of the best buy best best buy out there really good for the summer it's something I would recommend except it wasn't for the fact that it is so fluffy it would be such a thrill but it's floppy and I can't take that. That's the underfold. I'm gonna put a second coat to make sure that we are well protected. And if it does not come out stiff, it will not be my fault. I did not put it on the white. I just put it on the black. And we'll see what happened. So we put adequate amounts all over. And we're gonna put it in the sun and we can see what happened here hopefully it comes out stiff and beautiful then i'll be a happy girl i 
be so, so happy. So I guess we're done. We are done. We're going to put this in the sun now and see what happens. You will notice that the hat came out with a lot of white in the black. It's shiny and beautiful, but it has this black here, which I'm not too thrilled about at all. So I have to figure out how to get these blacks, these white streaks out, which I really don't like. So um, was this a win? I don't think so. I think it was more a fail than a win. I'm not happy about that at all. And furthermore, I was hoping for the hat to like, you know, be, be stiffer. Instead, it's still kind of saggy, as you can see. It could be stiffer, it's still saggy. Not as bad as before, but with the passage of time, I'm just so afraid it's gonna be saggier and limp because it's toward falling already and it's totally dried. So I don't think this much Podge thing really makes things stiffer. It's totally falling. Look at that. And I'm so afraid that with the passage of time, it's gonna be even worse. I'm gonna voice it on this container so you guys can see. Or maybe something, I don't know. Um, that it is still, oops, still very floppy. Okay, this is not the ideal thing. Let's see if we can voice it on this. So, um, yeah. It's not as bad as before, but it's still soggy. It's still flop, flopping and everything, and I'm just afraid that with the passage of time, look at this. You can see how it's tilted here, in that way, look at that. So, let me use my candle, but no, a comb. <laughs> let me use a comb just to point out. So I don't get in the way, sorry. Look at here, it's totally sag here. And with the passage of time, what is gonna happen? It was already so saggy. And even if you want to be stylish and wear this at the front, will the back eventually fall in? Look at, this side is up, so this is not bad. But as we go around, it sags right here again. So I don't know if this much Podge. Here is not too bad at all. Here is sort of, you know, straight and everything. I would rather it, everything looking like this, but now everything is just like so saggy and floppy. The flop is gone down, all of that gone down. Here is out, and then we have another flop here again. So I don't think this much Podge, or maybe it's not for straw, I don't know. Maybe it's not for straw at all, but I don't know. It, what I found is that much Podge can be washed out. So if anything, maybe I'll wash it out and then I'll have to try something else. Would I recommend it? Uh, maybe, but not for me, not for me. If you want something, if you want your head to be stiffer, than what is actually being displayed there, then the Mod Podge is not the ideal thing for this project. And maybe not for straw. Maybe it is, but not for straw. But um, it didn't do too well on the straw at all. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to try something else to get the edges up, because I still don't want that kind of saggy kind of flop you know so yeah I don't know okay so um would I recommend it for me no would I recommend it for you 
you have to try it for yourself but I'm telling you right now if you're using straw it's not gonna be what you're looking for maybe felt or I don't know but straw it didn't work out with the straw at all it's totally floppy you can see there I'm looking for something that will make the hat stiffer so fail 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 much much fail so um I'm gonna look around for something else if I find something else that will work out and um, I'll come back here and share with you guys but for now checking out total fail project <laughs> all right so until I see you guys again take care bye bye